I was you know, sharing a four, four hour car journey from York all the way back to London. Um, it was coming back from set and I so happened to be sharing it with Greer Ellison, the writer. And he was telling me this story, which apparently he'd been trying to pitch, you know, to everyone and it'd been you know, turned down again and again and again. And um, really what happened is when I heard it, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. The film is about Jake um, and his two best friends. Um, Jake has a secret one that he feels he can't tell anyone, including his two best friends. I read the script and what I liked about it was, it's very difficult to put my finger on it, but there was something dark, but it's at the same time genuine about it. And that doesn't happen very often in scripts. I think you, you know, when you read, let's say, thrillers or horror films, they're also dark. But the darkness, that, you know, in, in, those, in those films is, um, it's not justified by anything. It just comes out of nowhere. It's, it's flat. It's not interesting. Well, in this case, um, the darkness that I liked, um, there was something else to it, something very intimate and something profoundly personal. It is ultimately, you know, a film about a person, and it is, you know, a person is still a person, regardless of, like, their feelings. The point of the film is to try and create empathy, empathy for a character who has been demonized by society. It is, pedophilia is probably the greatest taboo still out there. Um, it's, it's a theme which people shy from. And I think, you know, what we wanted to do was very simple, was we're not trying to like create sympathy, but if the audience come out of it and they feel some sort of empathy and they can see his standpoint, then I think we've won our battle. That's all we're trying to do. We didn't want it to be another council estate film. We, we wanted to take a new approach. We wanted to have a new vision of London and Raphael did that. Um, and you know, he, 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 he filmed and portrayed London in a way that I don't think has been seen before. We did a lot of test shoots actually because we weren't quite sure what exactly the tone of the film was. But yeah, it, it came about very, very naturally. And um, we shot in like Stockwell and we like kept it quite contained. And we had the support of like, you know, the local you know, like area as well, which is quite nice. The auditions went on and on. You know, we initially went in wanting complete unknowns, like people who'd never like sort of been on screen before because we wanted to give it that sort of fresh quality. And um, yeah, so I mean, Liam and Byron have never acted before, but you know, they were extremely good. And I think they brought a lot of themselves into the characters. Um, Theo, he is a bit more experienced. And I think he was looking for something exciting and something different and something that would really like push his boundaries as an, act as an actor. I think it's important to be daring. And, you know, we've obviously got Berlin behind us, um, which we're so, so excited about. And um, I think that's exactly the sort of, well, let's see what happens. <laughs>